The episode starts in a flashback. Ezra has been injured by the recent alien invasion. His wife, Lynn, prepares herself to get some medication for him. Despite Ezra's protest, she hops in her van to the nearest pharmacy. Back in the present, we see that the Sparks are resurrecting another human this time it is a blonde woman. In the woods, one of the scouts from the Skin Riders group is attempting to steal food a wild squirrel from a compound. Suddenly, he is attacked by a strong force from behind, rendering him unconscious. The attacker is revealed to be a young girl in worn-out clothes. She seems to have been living in the compound all by herself, hunting and scavenging whatever she can. After subduing the scout, the young girl takes her food and goes on about her days. In the meantime, Ezra is also out hunting for food while Abram and Fina are compromising on the herb soup they managed to make by crushing some wild plants. The scout from earlier regains consciousness and reports the incident to his boss Silas. The skin riders decide to catch this attacker first, and then find the object that Ezra was carrying the other day. They now view this object as a threat because it killed one of theirs. Elsewhere in the settlement, Fina and Abram are examining the mysterious object when suddenly, the obelisk chimes in some symbols for them. Abram interprets the symbols the obelisk wants Fina to go to the lake alone, because the sparks have resurrected a human. With the red drone by her side, Fina ventures out into the jungle, not realizing that the skin riders are tailing her. Back in the settlement, Abram works on the mysterious object, and with the help of the yellow drone, he discovers an interesting truth. The parasite of the skin riders contains a brain that has over 100 billion nerve cells woven through an organic crystalline structure. This crystal brain can help the skin riders to telepathically communicate with each other, allowing them to transmit messages along short distances. Moreover, this mysterious object is a weapon against the skin riders as it shatters their crystal brain. It is mainly built for the skin rider's ancestor, which is a repository of all the memories of their civilization. When a skin rider dies, its crystal is removed and then added to the ancestor so that the life and the knowledge of that rider is forever preserved. The skin riders have kept the location of the ancestor hidden, and Abram and the others must find it and destroy it. Meanwhile, Fina reaches the lake and helps the newly resurrected human get out of the water. She immediately recognizes this new person who turns out to be none other than Lynn Ezra's wife. Lynn is initially confused but then Fina assures her that she will explain the situation when they return to their settlement. Much to their disappointment, Jax arrives at the scene and corners the two women. Thankfully, the red drone subdues him, giving Fina and Lynn enough time to flee. Unfortunately, the red drone is captured by Duncan and the other skin riders. Fina immediately recognizes him as her lover, but Duncan's parasite has overtaken him so he fails to show any emotional connection towards her. When he tries to attack her, Lynn rams him with a wood from behind. The two women manage to escape to a nearby stream. Given her weak state, Lynn decides to stay back and distract the pursuing skin riders, while Fina promises to be back for her with Ezra. Soon after, Lynn is captured and taken to Jax, who is awaiting her near the lake. He then uses her bleeding feet to summon the sparks from the lake and collect some of it into his bottle. These sparks not only resurrect humans with the help of atomic compounds, but they also heal most of the injuries. Skin riders collect such sparks to fend off the human side of their body while nourishing their parasite which they like to call the companion. In the next scene, Jax has the rest of the members go after Fina. This is when we see a flashback, where Jax and his unit are engaged in a fight against the aliens. They secure themselves inside a pharmacy, where at the same time, Lynn is looking for some medication for her husband. Lynn hears gunshots and when everything goes silent, she gets out in the corridor to save a man, whimpering from war wounds. This man turns out to be Jax, who used to be a soldier before the alien invasion. Lynn, who used to be a nurse, helps him with his wounds. Back in the present, when Jax is alone with Lynn, someone attacks him in the head, rendering him unconscious. The person turns out to be none other than the young girl we saw at the start of the episode. Lynn soon follows this girl child, who takes her to a compound. This place is where the young girl has been living by herself. Lynn learns that the girl is essentially mute so it becomes hard for her to communicate with her. Despite this, the young girl shares some food and water with her. In the meantime, Jax regains consciousness and pursues Lynn's tracks. The scene then shifts to a flashback where Lynn is helping an injured Jax. There is shrapnel in his leg due to which she has to perform immediate surgery to avoid injection. Jax thanks her for saving his life when she donates her blood to execute the surgery. Back in the present, however, Jax, infested with the parasite, discovers Lynn and the young girl and corners them. Lynn manages to negotiate with him by offering herself in exchange for the safety of the young girl. Jax agrees with her and the young girl runs off far in the woods to save herself. Lynn is then taken to the skin rider's hideout. There, she is taken completely by surprise when she sees her brother-in-law Silas, leading the group. 
In the meantime, Fina manages to make it back to the settlement and reports the situation to Ezra and Abram. In an effort to save his friends, Abram pleads with the obelisk for help. Just then, the obelisk displays various symbols, causing Abram to find a pen and paper to jot them down. While looking for a paper, he discovers a notebook of one of the settlers who were here before them. Much to his surprise, he discovers that the handwriting on the notebook is his. That is, he wrote the notebook, which contains various patterns and symbols displayed by the obelisk. He then learns that everyone including Ezra and Fina was here in the settlement. They died due to some reason and were reborn in the lake under the commands of the obelisk and the sparks. In a flashback, we see an old Abram rushing his ill and unresponsive wife Tasha to a hospital. Here, we see his older version because he was reborn in his prime year in the present. It turns out that the sparks resurrect people at their prime age because that is when they are the strongest and most fertile to create a community. In the meantime, Silas has Lynn locked up in a cell. He also forces her to become one of the skin riders by injecting her with a parasitic crystal. Later, he orders Duncan to mend the red drone and change its algorithm to work in their favor. Back in the settlement, Ezra, Fina, and Abram come up with a plan to persuade the obelisk to help them rescue Lynn. They bargain protection while rescuing Lynn in exchange for finding the ancestor, the central nervous system of the skin riders, and destroy it. The obelisk agrees to their plan by showing a peace sign, prompting Fina and Ezra to set out on a rescue mission for Lynn. Elsewhere, Silas is discussing his main agenda with Duncan and Jax. He wants to close the neural pathways to their human side so that they can give more control to their companion. However, this is only possible with the help of the Red Drone and their ancestors. Therefore, he instructs Jax and Duncan to take the Red Drone to the ancestor and find ways to fulfill their agenda. Back in the settlement, Abram believes that his wife Tasha also must have lived here since he was here before he was reconstituted by the Sparks. Therefore, he begins to search for proof that validates his wife was also here. The Yellow Drone intervenes, giving him a tour of a graveyard. In this graveyard, the bodies of the first settlers including Ezra and Abram himself are buried. The drone scans the individual gravestone, matches the DNA extracted from it with its database, and provides information on the identity of the corpse. Sadly, it is unable to find any database on Abram's wife. Abram has a breakdown and asserts that his life without his beloved wife is purposeless. The yellow drone empathizes with him and encourages him to reflect on the reason why he and the others have been resurrected. It is particularly to create a community of noble humans. The drone continues to give him words of encouragement by mentioning that since Abram was here in the settlement before, he must have moved on with life and bore children even without his Tasha. In the meantime, Jax and Duncan get into a discussion about who will take charge of their mission to get to the ancestor. Consequently, Jax ties Duncan to a tree and continues his journey deep into the forest. At the same time, Fina and Ezra are tailing a scout to get to the skin riders camp. Duncan hears them running through the woods and calls out for help. Fina is elated to see her lover, but Ezra reminds her that he is one of the skin riders. Duncan tries his sly ways to convince the pair to untie him. He explains that his parasite is weaker than his human side, and ever since he sensed the revival of Fina, the parasite has been weaker by the day. He also claims that they can weaken the parasitic side and put up appearances to deceive Silas. Fina seems slightly convinced but Ezra believes Duncan is only bluffing to free himself. After a small talk, Ezra decides to continue his rescue plan while Fina stays back to save her lover. Back in the skin rider's camp, Lynn manages to cut open the belt tied to her wrists. She puts her parasite-injected arm inside a pot containing sparks and heals herself for the time being. Lynn then climbs up a brick wall and finds herself in a shaft that leads to the exit of the cell. Elsewhere, the yellow drone recalls a deep memory of Abram. In this memory, he is taken back to the time when his wife was gravely ill due to a stroke. On one of these days, he had met an old woman who supposedly worked as a volunteer at the hospital. This woman provides him some comfort by offering a warm blanket. Later, when he is asleep, the woman sneaks into Tasha's room and unleashes a blue drone. She also takes out a bottle of sparks and attempts to heal Tasha. However, her attempt fails because Tasha's brain is too weak. As a result, the blue drone notes that they won't be able to get her brain state as well. This means the woman and whoever she is working for already had access to the sparks before the war came, and they were precautionary for the same reason so much so that they were collecting brain states of people. Back in the present, Abram takes the yellow drone's advice and finds a new purpose in his life, to build a community of good people in the settlement. Meanwhile, Jax arrives at a lake and dives right into it. He then reaches the sacred cave, where the ancestor is kept. He connects himself with the crystals thereafter which he is taken to a deserted place, where the ancestors await. In the woods, Ezra attempts to sneak up on the skin rider's guard. Unfortunately, he gets caught during the act. 
He is then presented in front of his brother Silas, the leader of the Skin Riders. Just then, they learn that Lin has escaped the cell. Silas then telepathically communicates this to all of his members and urges them to search for her. Duncan also learns about the situation and decides to help Fina and her friends. He telepathically misinforms the location of Lin, causing most of the Skin Riders to leave the camp and head to the said location. This will give them enough time to rescue Lin and Ezra from the camp. Soon after, they spot Lin hiding by a corner. Fina takes her to the woods, while Duncan goes ahead to rescue Ezra. In a flashback, we see Duncan hastily arriving at Fina's apartment. He tells her that his job has been transferred to another state and needs to leave the city tonight. Although sad, Fina wishes him luck and says her goodbyes. In the meantime, Jax demands his ancestors reprogram the red drone so that the skin riders can block the neural pathways to the human mind. The ancestors make him aware of the risks involved and then agree to show what they know about the reprogramming. Back in the camp, Duncan manages to 